Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing on the Water Barrier map. Uh, this map is basically one of the new maps, uh, one of the newer maps in Art of War 3. Uh, it's been like two months, no, uh, two to three months old, so it's a relatively new map. I mean, it's really fun. There's, there's, uh, it's really hard for the resistance too because there's absolutely no land connecting your partner and your base. Uh, I mean, uh, if you're being technical, the Confederation has the Delta, so they could use uh, the Delta in order to uh, support their uh, their ally. But the resistance has no ground unit that can approach their allies' base, so that really makes things interesting for us. Uh, and I am. A Oh, there we go. Okay, deployment time, dual shipyard, along with getting a few containers for the extra resources. Uh, and since I have gold scouting, I'll be able to get the resources at the center. Yeah, as can be seen. While also having uh, a dual shipyard in deployment time. I also made a coyote so I can kill any early assaults trying to scout my base. Especially since there's only one entrance uh, via ground tier base, it's really easy to defend. Okay. So there goes my first few Kaimans. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so blue went for a few deltas. Okay. Luckily, I got a few containers near his base. Nice. Oh, destroyed his own shipyard because he realized I placed a mine there. Okay. Okay. Oh, yo, yo. Ah, come on. Damn. Okay, can we kill that? Can we take it down? Oh, no, we can't. That assault. Oh, damn. Okay, so we can't take down that construction yard. Uh, kind of hoping that we could have taken down a construction yard. Easy 300 resources, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm going for HT level 3, uh, so I can get some more supply centers and then, you know, build up my base. It's not really clear what they're going for, uh, as of right now they're just getting more supply centers uh, and, you know, getting a few units for defense and reconnaissance, uh, especially green. I don't really see anything from green. Okay, so I put in some uh, Kaimans at the middle of the map so I can see uh, what they're doing. Also, since my partner is Fat Squatch, like, he knows what he is doing. Uh, Fat Squatch, like, he's a gamer, so... Yeah, he knows exactly what he's gonna do, so I don't have to actually worry about him. He's good. Okay. Hmm. So I'm, tr I'm trying to anticipate their moves. I haven't really seen anything from green or blue. Uh, I got a coyote, and I'm building a gun tower along with an anti-air tower. Uh, if things go a little south. Uh, but, yeah... Let's fast forward. I'm basically building an anti-air tower because around the fourth minute mark, most people at my rank would have at least a vertex. Uh, and I don't really have any anti-air except this one tower. So getting another tower will not hurt. And I know alligators have some anti-air, but they're on the they're on the ocean, so it's better to it's better to have some land-based anti-air as well, because uh, if you can you can easily maneuver around the the map with vertex so you should always be prepared okay got some alligators there <laughs> i i uh temporarily stopped alligator production uh because i need to expand my base and i don't know if green's going for a rush uh one gun tower and a coyote isn't gonna do anything so i'm gonna have to build some porcupines uh, maybe some jaguars and stuff. Ooh. Oh! Ooh, look at that. Blue's got some stuff. Oh, he's using naval strike. Naval strike, okay. Damn. I mean, sniper towers are a joke. Like, like come on. <sighs> but, I mean, I'm pretty sure Fast Squatch has it. He's got a gator there, and he's building a jaguar. I mean, he's already out-teched blue right now. 
Uh, a gator is preventing blue from coming anywhere near the ocean, so it's forced to go over there. So when the jaguar pops out, the, the uh, those troops will be engaged right there. And since he only has three deltas, yeah, he's not going to take down that factory before the jaguar is done. And yeah, it's done. Okay, siege mode. Boom. Nice. The thing with deltas is that they're annoying. Uh, they're easy to kill, but they're annoying. Okay. Ooh, green does have a hammer. Ooh. Okay, okay. Blue's trying to take down the sniper tower again. Okay, almost. Nice. Okay, so blue is dead. The gator position here is actually a really smart move. It basically prevents anything from going because uh, this gator, even without a boost, can reach somewhat pretty far. Uh, into this uh, land area, so that's a pretty smart move. Meanwhile, I'm producing some mammoths and some jaguars, uh, so I can basically have a have an extended defense. Uh, my main goal is to produce a heavy navy, heavy fleet. Okay, with scouting with two of my coyotes, uh, I mean not coyotes, uh, caimans. I can see that both of them are spamming platforms. Uh, Fat Squatch is laughing because he thinks they're wasting the water. Uh, mainly because, look, I mean, Fat Squatch didn't go for the for Navy. So, yeah, they're scared. They're scared of nothing. Uh, but then again, I, I, I did go for a heavy, a heavy Navy build. Uh, and seeing as how they're spamming platforms, it's kind of ruined my day. <laughs> I mean, I kind of wanted uh, some more stuff, but what that means is that I'm going to go for HQ4. I see that Fat Squatch is attacking with a small convoy of troops, but Vertex has been spotted. Okay, Fat Squatch has zero anti-air, which kind of sucks. Hmm, maybe a factory spotted, ooh. Dual Avia Factory. Ooh, how interesting. Yo. Dang. Oh, that vertex. Bro, one vertex insta shotted <laughs> a rifleman. Oh. Look, there's two airfields. Guaranteed HQ4. Also, who's gonna win, that bunker or the Jaguar? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Who's gonna win? Put it down in the comments. I'm just kidding. It's obviously the bunker, duh. Come on. Okay, so basically, what I'm trying to do is I wanna go here, then I wanna go here, and then go over to here. Uh, so I can engage those airfields. Since Blue spammed all his platforms here, he won't be able to reach me. So that's my plan. So let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Of course, alligator uh, pathfinding isn't really that good. Okay. But. My alligators are, are actually surviving somewhat. So it's not bad. My goal is just to take down those airfields. Deprive blue of air supremacy. That's my goal. Ooh, damn. Almost. Nice. Okay, 
Two airfields down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. That looked beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one alligator is like a one man army. Oh, come on, come on, take down. Ah, oh, shit. The boost ran out. Damn, we could have we could have taken down that airfield if my boost hadn't ran out. <laughs> oh man. But but that was a pretty good attack. <laughs> that was a pretty good attack. Oh yeah. Okay. So now I'm going for a heavy Jaguar Chameleon Porcupine build. I'm going for a navy. I'm um, yeah, a small navy with a bigger ground army. Oh, okay, Vertex spotted, and um, I was afraid that the Vertex might have seen uh, my Chameleon in a heavy ground vehicle factory production, so I plan on uh, attacking green instantly, so let's go. Okay, this is how fast the Jaguars are at my rank with a vehicle scouting boost, pretty good. Oh, Torrent Fire. Okay, we gotta fall back for a little bit. Wait for the torrents to fire, and then go in after they fire. That's the point. It's gonna take. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's see it. Ooh, the torrents are getting some good shots at the back. Okay, got a siege up. Okay, if we keep this up. Hopefully, oh, uh, okay, he didn't change the force fire of those torrents. He only changed the force fire of the Zeus, which kind of sucks for him, not for me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I got multiple chameleons activated, so yeah, I mean, it's not really going to be a bother. Oh, he killed the chameleon there, but as of right now, he is outnumbered heavily. He wasted too many Zeus. Okay, all my units are heavily, heavily uh, injured. Oh, here comes Blue's uh, Vertex. Ooh, damn. I only got one Porcupine left. Come on, kill that. Nice. One Porcupine isn't really going to take down like all these. Uh, my Chameleon, oh, shoot, my Chameleon ran out. His Vertex are going to come right back, so I got to be, got to be careful. Okay, perfect. Nice. I'm trying to uh, use my chameleons as effectively as possible so those vertex will not take down my army. That's, that's what I'm basically trying to do. Uh, but... Mm, mm, those vertex... Oh, man! Come on, come on, come on, do something, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Even if one missile from that torrent fired, my Jagger would have gone crushed. Not to worry, though, because I got a smaller army approaching. Yeah, I mean, this army isn't really as strong uh, as my first army, but it's going to be good for a constant, uh, constant attack. And I'm going to be uh, constantly producing as well. Okay. Oh, that's a good force fire. And yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I think he's rebuilding now. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Confed rebuilding. We're going to crush him, though. He's not gonna survive. We're gonna crush him. Perfect. Bet he wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Ooh, I accidentally left a porcupine out. Ooh, vertex incoming. Oh, oh. 
Come on, come on, activate, activate, activate! Activate! There we go. Noob Vertex lol. <laughs> Look at that. Oh wait, what? What? That gator fired really late. Bruh, noob torrent. You're gonna die, noob torrent. What you what are, what are you gonna do with that long reload time? Oh yeah. Ooh, HQ level 5. Ooh. I'm not even HQ level 5. Bruh, Green Green invested too much on his uh on spamming platforms and putting up HQ level 5. He didn't even have a ground army to defend. Like bruh. Bruh bruh. Like at least blue had some heavy vertex. Okay, here comes the cavalry. There's the vertex. Snipe down the cam. Come on, come on, take down the HQ. Yo, pause. Whoa. Oh, nice. Nice. Yo. Yo, look, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna stop uh, staring at that, but yeah. Also, I'm on one time speed, so this vertex actually flies that quickly. I'm not kidding, and this is one time speed. I'm not speeding it up, that's how quickly vertex flies. Okay, so I took down Green's HQ. I got another group coming, so hell yeah. Okay, we're gonna crush them again. Uh. This time, I am going to crush green off the face of the planet. Oh, oh! Vertex, damn. Oh, oh. Coming in for re-entry. Oh, come on, come on, come on, snipe it. I don't know if I sniped it. Yo, got him. That vertex is down, lol. Bro, spamming walls? Why do you only spam three? What? Dude, this this guy spammed three walls. <laughs> what what are those three walls going to do? Like well, what did he expect? Bro, you didn't even force fire with a torrent. Bro. Okay, I mean it's a good game. While I'm attacking, blue is taking down uh, fast watch, at least attempting to, like, bruh, viking, he's not even on naval strike, what are you doing, dude, you're not on naval strike, fast watch is on common defense, and he's not even on strike, and I'm coming in too, bruh, <laughs> what, talk about a failed attack, bruh, all you have to do is hit, with the naval strike, dude. I mean, if he came over here and hit me with a naval strike, I would have been crushed. Come on, man. Okay, but at this point, green is destroyed. So we can fast forward. Okay, come on. There we go. There it is. Okay, okay. Green is green's out of the game. So basically, now it's going to be a freebie. Uh, because it's a 2v1 and fat squatch is really good. So it's not like it's a 2v1 with a with a trash ally This ally is really good. So we're gonna be we're gonna win Okay I position my units likewise so if vertex tries to come and snipe any of it, uh, it'll be unsuccessful Okay Fast squash with the Malbatrusts. Ooh. You know, yo. Oh. Nice, but they just res went to a different airfield. And shit. <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. Oh, oh. Oh, no, he fell back. Damn. 
Okay, fat squash with a <laughs> with a <laughs> uh, heavy camper defense. Bro, resistance camping, lol. This isn't even efficient camping because this gun tower literally has like three cells of uh, view range, so it's not even efficient. But he has resources to spare. He's got stuff to do, so I, I get it, yeah. He's got porcupines on patrol mode everywhere. Uh, so if, if Vertex comes, blue is screwed. That's basically that. I got a I got an okay ground defense just in case green may have like a hammer or two. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So spamming anti air uh, because the only thing blue can do to reach me would be air or deltas. I mean deltas would actually be a pretty good idea if blue hit here with doors right and then came in here with like now and then moved over here. And went on to this beach with uh, 20 deltas. I think you could do some serious damage. Because this beach is far enough from these platforms that they won't be engaged. Uh, and uh, this beach, it has a few ground units, so, yeah. Hmm, action went over here. Okay, okay. So basically, Fat Squatch has decided to do contracts, and so am I. Uh, because free resources? Okay, oh, oh. Nice. Oh, oh, they didn't come chasing. Rip. Oh, he has, he has six. Wait, wait, how many Thors? Like, five Thors. Yeah, five. There's one here, four over there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, five Thors. Wow. Thors are juicy. But as I said, Thors aren't going to be a problem. I got full anti-air. Fat Squatch has his full anti-air. Hmm. Okay, contract time. So yeah, just ignore me taking down some armadillos while I keep producing. Ah, uh, CP issues. Kinda suck, man. Okay. Oh, oh. Thors? Oh no, Vertex. Oh no, those are Thors. Yeah, Thors. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Coyotes, oh. Cute little doors. Took down the gun towers. Ooh, Viking. Good night. Ah, oh, okay. uh, what a shield. What? Oh, oh, Zeus. Yo, Zeus. Cute little Zeus. Oh, damn. Bro, Zeus being engaged. Oh, 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 yo. Oh, I think this is gonna look good. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be great. Oh, wow. Bro, talk about a perfect bomb run. <laughs> Bro, Blue didn't even take down all of the coyotes because that was a perfect bomb run. Perfect. Literally. Took down... <laughs> All of those Zeus raining bombs right on his face. Okay, contracts. Yeah. Yo, Thor's. Oh, that's a lot of anti air. That Thor's dead. <laughs> it's a lot of anti air. No, no matter how fast that Thor is, that's a lot of anti air. That is a lot of anti air. Like, the, uh, how many towers? Let's count how many anti air towers he got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? 
seven, I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six platforms, two alligators, and a lot of porcupines, and a huge spam of airfields. That's a lot of damage, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Oh, space system. Damn. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Oof. Rip. But space system. Whoa. Attention. Space strike incoming. Oh, wait. No, no. That's not how it said. And like attention, space strike detected. Literally five seconds before it, it it hits. So yeah, what a what a warning, man! What a warning! I mean, I don't. I honestly don't even think they need a warning at this point. Like five seconds. What? I the only unit that could escape a nuke or a space strike in five seconds would be the vertex because of how insanely fast it is. Yo, ooh, damn. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna fast forward it. Okay, confed, uh, not confed, uh, out. Oh. Wait. Bruh, shoot. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Okay, wait. I'll see you guys in part two then. <laughs>